How's everybody doing and welcome to the fish room. Uh, today's video is going to be a part three of uh, behind me I have my aquaponic system. Really easy to set up, uh, super cheap. So I just want to kind of finalize this project. It is working, what I want to share with you guys. Um, how you can grow plants above your aquarium, filter your fish tank water through it to grow the plants and help remove any nitrates from your water. So just another filtration to add to your tank. Uh, really fun to have and super easy. Taking a closer look here, uh, the basic setup, I have a 15 quart tub. I have water being pumped up with actually air driven up into the top here and I have an overflow right at the water level. Um, and then I'm growing mint in here. I bought it at the grocery store as I already pre-clipped. Uh, there were no roots growing, anything like that. Uh, check out parts one and two um, after you watch this or go ahead and check that out and kind of follow the video. Um, but I germated them, which basically means you put the plant in water till it grows roots. And then I planted it in this gravel uh, substrate here. So really easy setup. Um, I have a bunch of angelfish down here in my 55 gallon tank, a couple of plecos down there. And basically what any filter does or what aquaponics does and how it can benefit your tank is the fish are down here, they're eating food, they're going to the bathroom. Your mechanical filter or even like the gravel up here, it's going to grow beneficial bacteria. And what the beneficial bacteria does is it breaks down the ammonia from the fish poop and pee into nitrite and then nitrates, uh, finalizing the cycle of an aquarium. And then plants, any plant, doesn't matter what it is, uh, the roots will absorb that water and they actually feed off of the nitrates. So they're removing nitrates from the water. And this is only three weeks old here. And you can see I've been clipping these, replanting them, and it's already growing over the entire bed. So I think I had maybe $6. I bought two different um, little packets of mint from the store. Go to your local uh, market district or your grocery store, um, buy some mint, take a look at it, make sure it's relatively fresh, and then check out part one, how to germinate them, all that good stuff. Um, but once they start growing, um, you see we have a bunch of different individuals here, and this is a stem plant. Uh, so I'm growing mint, like this one here, I could go ahead, clip it right above this uh, larger leaf. In this top part, I can push it right into the gravel. And if we take a closer look at the front here, you can see some roots growing there. Kind of small in this front one, but you can see a few roots there uh, right below the leaf. And that's growing all through this uh, aquaponic system. Uh, we have some roots on the side, things like that, but I don't want to go ahead and pull anything out of here. Uh, but what's going to happen is the plants will keep growing. They're sucking up the nitrates. I can clip these off. I'm probably going to do it today. Replant them or I can actually put them in my drinks. I can do whatever I want to do with the mint. Uh, it just smells nice in the fish room. Even now when I just went there and moved my hands through, anytime you kind of disrupt this plant, uh, it gives up a really nice smell, kind of a nice enhancement to the fish room. But wanted to share with you that it is working. And anything I would maybe improve on this is I'm pumping air up. And you can see the water kind of splashing in there. Uh, bringing up fish water. I might get a uh, better lift tube here, add some uh, air stones to the bottom, maybe do a PVC, something that'll bring up a lot more water because it's really kind of fighting to bring it up. Uh, or you can use just a pump to pump that water up. I'll be able to so cycle more water from the tank through this per hour or just throughout the day, um, whatever that may be. But that may be one thing I might upgrade on this. Um, but really simple, that pumps up. And then right in the middle here, we have our overflow. I drilled a hole at the bottom of this, um, added a lift tube. And these guys are starting to get so tall, they're almost falling over. So they're still growing, but I want to kind of cut these so they keep growing up. And then I can uh, use the mint, or I can just keep growing more and more, uh, rerooting it, maybe starting a new bed. Um, but let's go ahead, I'll actually go through and trim this up, see what it looks like. But the aquaponics project worked very well. Uh, helps out filter more water in the fish tank and you can kind of if you do it in the right numbers I could sustain this whole tank forever by doing an aquaponic so say I had this entire top with a giant garden bed say I had like four of those and maybe like 10 angel fish that are adult size so something more permanent I breed and sell fish there's a lot of fish in here right now uh, but something like that ideally over time uh, your mint grows in, your plants are doing well, 
all those plants growing and you constantly trimming them to promote more growth, keeping the plants healthy, is going to keep this bottom tank stable. So aquaponics is great. I really like it. But if you're not as much into the plants, you're more into the fish like I am. Um, this is another fish tank filter that you can have on your tank, whether it be your only type of filtration or just an additional enhancement to your filtration. Uh, so something really cool. I had the bulkheads on my drill, uh, drill bits in the container laying around. I bought the mint. I had gravel laying around. So it only cost me like six dollars. Um, but if you started from scratch, bought all those materials, an air pump, the tub, all that stuff, it's probably under $30. Uh, so really cool additional filtration that will continue to run. You don't have to clean it. Uh, say you buy two sponge filters, there's $15, maybe $30 right there, depending on how big they are, if you're buying air pumps, all that good stuff. Uh, so those still need maintenance, they need cleaned out, and you still have to do water changes. So something with the aquaponics, is going to be eventually natural self-sustaining filter to your fish tank so i thought it was a really cool project to try out i want to share with you guys show you that it did work mint grows super fast easier than any other plant that i've experienced and it's just really fun to work with so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to check out some of my fish tank videos go ahead check out those uh end cards at the end of this video i'll leave parts one and two in my playlist for my fish tanks but thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know if you try an aquaponics yourself, if you're already doing, if you wanna do it and you're gonna try it. Let me know, keep me updated. And also check out my website at biancosfish.com uh, for fish for sale and some contact information. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like it, and I will see you guys next time.